Hey there, my name's Adrian Chenault, and I am so glad you're here with us today. Welcome to How to Create a Steady Stream of New Connections in 30 Days or Less Without Alienating Friends and Family, Without Spamming Anybody, and in a way that is going to be so organic and so much a part of your life. I'm so excited to share it with you. We are so happy you're here today. I want to invite you to go ahead and grab a pen and a notebook so you can take some notes as we go along. I promise you'll thank me later for that. And this is just going to be so much fun. We're really looking forward to sharing with you today. Uh, my dad and co-founder Tom Chenault is going to be joining us for part of this. Really excited to share him with you as well. And so let's get into it. So who is this for? This is for you if you have been in a business and you're tired of treating your business like a numbers game. Maybe you've been sending cold messages to people. Maybe you are just a little too kind of spammy in the way that you present and you want to make a shift there. This is for you if you genuinely care about people and you genuinely want to build relationships and take care of the people around you and create business results from doing that. This is for you if you feel like you've been trying to build a business for a long time and you feel like your network is burned. This is for you if you feel like you just don't have enough of the right contacts in your life to be able to grow your business. So that's who this is for. There's also some people who this is not for. So this is not for you if you are the kind of person who wants to automate your business because you would really rather not talk to people. And this is really not for you if you're just in it for yourself. And there are people like that out there, right? We've all experienced that. What we are about, what this web class is about is people who want to do business because they genuinely care about people. So I've got a promise for you that you're going to be able to take away from this experience that we're going to have together. And you'll have to let me know if I deliver on it. I'm very confident I will deliver on it. And that is that we're going to share a proven system which reveals how your existing network is far more powerful than you think. And you don't need to chase or annoy anyone to tap into its power. So I want to ask you a couple of questions to get us started today. So does this sound like you? I don't have a strong network today. And so I have to rely on cold outreach or leads to grow my business. Maybe this one sounds like you. I don't yet have a big enough team or customer base in my business to reach my desired level of income. When I connect with people, if they aren't immediately interested, I find that I don't really have a good system to stay in touch. So we hear these things, you know, we've spent time talking to thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs, and we've heard these statements and statements like that so many times. And so we are tapped into how challenging it can be out there. And I think some of the lies that can come into our lives that lead us down paths that might seem faster and end up being really frustrating and much slower. And so I want to introduce you to somebody here in a second. My dad, Tom Chenault, and I created something together. That's why we're here today. And Tom, my dad, is really the inspiration behind everything that we are about to share with you today because he has lived this and shown the power of doing this over the last, hate to break it, this is, you're going to be able to do some math here, 50 years in business. So this is something that he has been creating and working on and working toward his entire life. And that's really what we're here to share with you today. So come on in here, Dad. How are you, Adrian? <laughs> good. good to see you, buddy. Uh, good to see you too. So I want you to share your story and, and how what we're going to share today really is an embodiment of, of your journey in business through a lot of different things in your career. Well, I had an unbelievable start just trying to figure out the way that everybody else was doing it. And I've been a student of personal development forever. So I had all these role models that I wanted to be just like, but I was also a dead drunk alcoholic laying in the street, so I couldn't do it. And it just made me extremely frustrated. And I was really, really, really charismatic as a young guy. So I got away with a lot. 
But at the end of the day, the results just weren't showing up. And I couldn't figure out how the other guys had all the business over there. I had a product that cost less, that was a lot better. And the other guys had all the business. And I'm going, what is wrong with this picture? And I finally figured out that it wasn't the it that mattered. It was the me that mattered. And if I could get into their head that I can truly like mean it, that I cared far more about them than anything, any of the product or anything else and never forget anybody, it all changed. And what ended up happening was I became the great rememberer And what at the end of the day I had like, I was such a drunk. I had all these careers. I was a car salesman. <laughs> I was an airplane salesman. I was a stockbroker and finally a network marketer. But all I did was carry all those people into each career because I never let anybody out of my circle. And I did that with unbelievable, you know, note cards and the Dewey decimal system and yellow <laughs> pads and everything I could to keep track of people. Cause I learned that what people love most about Tom Chenault is what Tom Chenault remembered about them. And when I made my agenda, their agenda, and they knew that my eyes were popping open at two o'clock in the morning, thinking about their problems, everything shifted. And I became their friend as, as well as their business partner. And the rest is history. That is so cool. And you, he touched on these things to have watched him do that has been so incredibly remarkable to me. And so I'll share a little bit of my story as well. So my parents divorced when I was seven or eight years old. And at that point in time, my dad was just getting into a new career network marketing. He had recently gotten sober. He was moving in a new direction. And what that allowed to happen is that half the week, half my life, I was at home with dad watching him do what he did, which was building a network marketing business, which was taking care of people who were in recovery, taking care of homeless people and all sorts of things. And I watched the way, number one, that he treated people from people who were really important and really successful people that play for the Denver Broncos or huge business people or whatever, down to literally homeless people. And I watched the care that he had in treating people. And that got into my blood. And so I'm the oldest kid. Uh, I like to joke that there was never a box that I didn't like to color inside of. Uh, I'm not the same crazy personality Chip up the old that block. is my dad. And so I, you know, I didn't want anything to do with the family business. I went completely the opposite direction. I went into the corporate world and almost in spite of myself, what I realized is that all of those principles of the way to build relationships, the way to connect with people, those were inside of me. That was who I am because of the values and the lessons that had been instilled to me by my dad. And so I went into the corporate world and I, even as a finance guy who were like famous for being the ones to hide behind the spreadsheet, I ended up becoming this connector within the organization that I was working for that led me to move internationally all over the world working for them and allowed me to climb the corporate ranks extremely quickly to where I had a, a huge job leading an international organization by my early 30s. And so we had this realization when I was 32 years old and when he was 65 years old. That, Jeez. <laughs> Thanks. Well, that's yeah, you can do the math. So I had this realization that we had these parallel paths of relationship that had resulted in incredible things in both of our lives and that this was the magic. And so that's really what we're here to share with you today. And so uh, some of you who are watching with us today already know Tom. If you don't, it you've probably already figured out by now, he's a little bit of a live wire. And uh, this is one of the few times where we have a lot of content to get to and you just knock me off track every two seconds. So you're right. Nice seeing you. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> All right. So I wanted you to understand a little bit of the background of what we're doing here, because it really is, this is this idea, this concept, these principles that we're sharing with you today, that is the essence of who we both are. And that's why this is so important to us. That's why we are so passionate about it. And so I wanted you to have that background. So I want to get some interaction from you. I want to, I want to actually hear from the audience here a little bit today. And so I want to ask you a question. What is your biggest frustration with building connections to build your business? Write that down. I want you to, I want to hear from you. I want you to think on that 
and uh, we, we've got a live audience today. And so uh, a few of you are going to maybe share in the chat as well. So what's your biggest frustration with building connections to build your business? So we've, we've spoken to so many of you and we've, we've seen these patterns emerge over the years from doing that. And so I'm going to share a few of these challenges that I think may resonate for you. So the first challenge is I don't have a strong network today. And so I have to rely on cold outreach to grow my business, right? We talked about that a little bit earlier. And so I, I want you to think about this for a second, right? Because I, I think we've all found ourselves in that space at some point along the way. And so I want you to think, we're going to use a little bit of a metaphor to illustrate this, right? I want you to think about maybe your physical fitness as a different example of, of a similar principle to our network, right? So maybe at some point in your life, you've gotten into the habit of neglecting your health and wellness. And so one day, you maybe you have a doctor's appointment that you don't like what the doctor said to you. Maybe you're just tired of the way you look in the mirror, whatever it is. And so one day you wake up and you realize that you need to like make a change in your life right now. And so what do you do? Well, if you if you start buying leads in your network marketing business, that's kind of like going to the gym and immediately attempting to do a bunch of deadlifts or going on a seven day fast or fad diet or something crazy because you're trying to go from zero to being fit in one week. And so you're, you're looking for some sort of shortcut and look at best, that's going to give you a short term burst of results and much more likely you're going to end up back where you were, or maybe even worse off at the end of doing something like that. So that's not really advisable. You wouldn't do that if you knew what you were doing when it came to your fitness. And so here's the deal, right? I, I totally get it. The frustration is real, right? That cold outreach that you may have tried, or maybe you're even currently trying now, it can feel demoralizing, right? You feel like you have no choice and yet it's incredibly demoralizing. Most people don't respond. Those who do can be rude only very few are interested in it. It just feels like you're just running as fast as you can on this treadmill. Buying leads can be super frustrating too, right? The, you know, you pay for these leads and you don't know where they came from. You don't know how warm they are. These people don't actually know you. And so it's really easy to end up in a situation where you are spending a lot of money and you're not getting a whole lot of return on that investment. So that can be much the same. It's frustrating sharing with people that you know, maybe that feels awkward, right? Maybe you, we hear people say this, right? They, I, they're like, why aren't you tapping into or why aren't you talking to your existing network? And someone will say something like, well, you know, I don't feel very comfortable talking to my existing network about my business because I feel awkward. I feel like they, since they already know me that it's going to, you know, I just feel like it's dirty or, you know, why would I ask them to buy something from me or whatever? I worry that I'm going to ruin my relationships. So we hear those things all the time. So let's go back to the fitness metaphor for a second, right? What if instead of going for that quick fix, what if instead you looked for a lasting, more sustainable kind of approach? What if you went from eating whatever you want to making some healthy choices, maybe just at lunch to start with? And then you built from there and maybe you cut out soda, for example. And so we started taking some steps on how to make progress step by step by step. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to do that same thing in your approach to business building. We're going to show you how can you take some step by step, little tangible, simple, approachable steps to move you forward in the business of building authentic powerful relationships. So what does that look like when it comes to building your network? It's going to work much better to take those small sustainable steps. And we're going to do that today. So we're going to step through it slowly. We're going to step through it simply, and it's going to feel much more comfortable that way. It's going to help you to build a new habit. So we're going to, this is where that the first time where if you haven't already been taking notes, you're really going to want to have a pen and paper now because we're going to actually take a moment and we're just going to spend a little time beginning to dive into how to go about doing this. How do we 
actually begin this process of, of maybe just laying a little groundwork. And so, you know, if you've been furiously taking notes, if you're distracted, this is a good time to maybe just take a little deep breath and to put yourself into a place of being ready to look inward for just a moment. And so I'm going to have you take a moment and to think about some people in your life, past or present, who you most have appreciated. The people in your life who have meant the most to you, who are currently mean the most to you. Those could be people who are still super active in your life today. Or they could be people who were an important part of your journey somewhere along the way, and maybe your paths kind of drifted apart over the years. Both of those are great. So, you know, that might be that friend from high school or from college. Maybe it's a past mentor. Maybe it's a boss or an, an old coworker or somebody that you have worked with together over the years who you really appreciated and enjoyed. Maybe it's a relative. Maybe it's a cousin who you grew up with who you haven't spoken to in a long time. Just let your mind drift for a moment and to, to think and to write down the names of the people who are coming into your head. I don't want to give you an exact number of, of people to write down. I'm going to give you a little time, though, to just take a moment and maybe you shoot for 10, 10 or so people. Maybe, maybe your brain really gets going and, and you write more than that. That's great. However, give yourself just a little bit of time to write down some names, to write down some people who, maybe especially some people who you loved, who you've just lost touch with because of the busyness of life, because that's a, something that is very natural to occur over the years when the busyness of kids comes around. Maybe it's somebody who, if you have children, maybe it's a, a parent that was a, a friend of one of your kids that you enjoyed and you were sort of together on the journey through a sports team or something like that. And, and that sort of went away. Maybe it's something that was part of a, an organization that you were part of in the past, whether it's a church community or a volunteer community. Just give yourself some time to just let your mind wander and to think of a few names. So I'm just gonna give you a second to do that. I'm gonna take a little glass of water, a little sip of water here and give you a second to write a couple of things down and then we'll keep moving. So the reason that I want you to do that and feel free to keep writing, the reason that I want you to do that is that there's such power and such joy to be had from tapping into those connections, from remembering and re-engaging and reconnecting with some of those people who have been really special in your life over the years. And so it can feel overwhelming at times, right? You, you may have a, a phone that has a couple hundred names or a couple thousand names. You know, who knows how many, who knows how many seasons of your life that list of contacts in your phone reflects and to look at that list of all those people in your phone and to scroll through it, it can feel really overwhelming and really daunting. And so I hope by now you've written down 10 or so names, maybe a few more than that, maybe a few less, just to give yourself some prompting of people that came into your heart that showed up along the way. So I'm excited to, to hear a little bit more about that later on. So you got some names here. I want to introduce you to somebody in our community. Her name's Laurel, and she inspires me so much. Laurel was in a similar position to maybe what I described just a minute ago. She felt totally intimidated by the number of contacts that she had in her phone. She had about 1,500 people in her phone. She was a missionary. She has lived all over the world and she's made connections from all of these different incredible walks of life and most of those people had kind of been lost to through the sand of time right which just happens you know you move away you move to a different place you know maybe back then technology wasn't as good as it is today there just weren't as many ways to keep in touch and all of a sudden you've got this huge list of people and you go well oh i just i couldn't talk to that person and so she Laurel had these 1,500 contacts in her phone. She was totally stuck in her business and she was feeling burned out because she was constantly trying to talk to new people and she felt paralyzed 
about going back into this list of 1500 contacts because she just, the story she was telling herself is, oh, it's just, it's been too long. I, I couldn't do that. And so she started off doing what we've talked about. She started off taking these tiny steps. And once she got going, it went from something scary to something super fun and exciting for her. And in a matter of months, Laurel ended up going through all 1500 contacts in her phone and connecting with all those people one by one. And it has changed her entire life. It has changed the results that she's experiencing in her business. It has changed her sense of connection and contribution in the world. And it has reconnect, it has reinvigorated her sense of just how amazing she really is. It was an incredible, incredible journey for her. And so look, maybe you said, maybe as I was sharing with you earlier, you're saying to yourself, look, I, I've made a list before. Somebody has told me I should make a list. And that just, that maybe feels a little intimidating to you. But what if the key to making massive momentum for yourself in business is that little tiny shift to have a different kind of connection with people around you that begins to open up new possibilities different from what you have experienced in the past. To have that different kind of connection could open up all of these new possibilities. So I want you to look at your list for a second. And I want to ask you who showed up on your piece of paper that maybe surprised you that you, you wouldn't have expected when I first asked that question for that person to pop into your head. Who was that person? And I want to ask you another question. Who are you the most excited when you look at your list of people there? Who are the, who are the one or two or maybe three people that you are most excited to reconnect with on that list that maybe it's been a little while since you talked to, maybe it's only been a few months and, and you still feel overdue, or maybe it's been years. And maybe when you wrote that name down, it even scared you a little bit, even though you feel this sense of excitement about reconnecting with that person. And so I want you to, I want you to either star or put a little circle or however you want to do that, you know, just note who are those people that you feel the most excited about reconnecting with that with. And we'll come back to, to that idea a little bit later. So we shared some of those challenges at the beginning. The second challenge that we hear all the time is that I don't yet have a big enough team or customer base to reach my desired level of income, right? So when we first start off building a new habit, it's frustrating a little bit because it feels slow at first. Your progress feels slow and it's easy to have this temptation to abandon our consistency often just before things really begin to take off. And so maybe you've experienced that before, right? You, you start on a new habit and you know it's a good thing and you just feel like eh, this is not going anywhere. And so maybe you jump from thing to thing to thing and suddenly you find yourself getting nowhere because you never really stick with anything long enough. And so I wanna talk about the concept of the power of compounding. So maybe you have heard this quote from Albert Einstein before. Albert said that the most powerful force in the universe is compound interest. So this idea of compounding, that things start off slow and then suddenly they begin to take off is extremely, extremely powerful. Maybe you've heard it said a slightly different way with Tony Robbins. Tony says that the most people overestimate what they can do in a year and underestimate what they can do in two or three decades. That same principle applies to most people underestimate what they can, sorry, overestimate what they can do in a week and underestimate what they can do in three months or a year. So we're constantly, we get stuck in this sort of tunnel vision of the short term and we don't give things long enough to really pay off. So here's the likely reality. You have likely spent years neglecting or maybe even worse, abusing your network. And so we have to exercise a little bit of patience and belief in order to break through and reap the power of compounding to benefit in your network. I'll tell you though, I know it will pay off. So I got a couple more questions for you. I wanna, I wanna know if you can relate. Do you feel like you're constantly having to keep hustling 
just to even kind of keep your check or your income level where it is, let alone grow. It just feels like you're kind of stuck on this treadmill and it's not really building on itself the way you had hoped or expected. Maybe you feel like you you bring people into your business and those people, you know, you, you're growing your organization, you're growing your company and people will stay for a little while and maybe they'll keep buying or they'll keep, you know, working or they'll keep doing whatever. And then they just don't really stick around. They don't really build the business themselves. They're just, they're kind of there and then they're gone. And it just, again, you feel like you're stuck on the treadmill. Maybe you can feel like this. Maybe, you know, you're, you're in that position, right? The reason why we do the fad diet, the reason why we get impatient and frustrated is because, you know, I kind of need this thing to work like right now, really yesterday, ideally. And so I start getting this antsy, anxious feeling about the idea of building relationships because it just, uh, it feels like it's too slow to get me where I want to go in the time that I need it to work. And so while I wish I could do that, that sounds great. I just don't have time. I, I don't, I need this to work now. And so I need things that are going to pay off more quickly. I hear that. And I sense that in talking to people a lot. So here's what I'll tell you. You are not in the business of transactions. You are in the business of enrollments. You're not in the business of transactions. You're in the business of enrollments and that language may not make sense to you just yet, and that's okay. I'll explain more in a second. This is a super important concept, though. So I'm going to tell a little side story. Tom, my dad, who I introduced earlier, his company, his holding company that all his stuff runs under for the last 20 plus years is called Mo and Associates. And so what, why Mo? What, you know, what does that stand for? I'll give you a hint. It, it doesn't have anything to do with the Three Stooges, although that is often the, uh, the association that people first sort of hold when they hear that. MO stands for Masters of Enrollment. That is literally when I talked about earlier that everything that we're sharing with you today is the manifestation of what my dad has done in business for 50 years. Masters of Enrollment is the embodiment of what that's talking about. So what is the difference between a transaction and enrollment? Enrollment's at the center of everything we do. So here's the difference. Transactions and really even one-off sales, they are about getting what I want now without necessarily paying attention to the future, right? I, I'm worried about getting the transaction. I want to get that cash, right? And look, in some businesses, maybe that's okay, right? If you're in the used car business, I don't necessarily care if you want to buy from me in the future. I just want to sell you that car today. So that is, you know, that's okay. That there's, there's places where that makes sense. I will tell you though, the best businesses are built on enrollment. They are a function of creating deep, authentic connection and shared commitment that results in creating customers for life and business partners who will stick with you for the long term. And so when you shift your focus and energy away from transactions and onto enrollments, you start to see that building real connections is not the slow approach. It's actually the fast approach. And in many ways, it's the only approach. Why? Because it's the approach that creates leverage. It's the approach that turns that little snowball into a gigantic boulder of growth that compounds upon itself. That is what we're about. When you are building your business, it's not a transaction. It's a partnership. People are not deciding if they should buy a product from you. They're deciding if you are someone who is worth having around in their life for the next 12 months, for the next however long. They're evaluating you. They're not buying it first. They're buying you first. It's about a partnership. And that is so incredibly important. So I want to introduce you to another friend of ours who is, I think, a beautiful illustration of what this might look like. So I want to tell you about my friend Jody. Jody is a mom, and this was six, seven years ago. Her, her kids are, are a little bit more grown up now. Uh, six or seven years ago, she was pregnant with her first child, and she had a, a health issue. And pretty early on in her pregnancy, she, uh, so like four months in, her doctor said, you are literally on bed rest 
for the rest of your pregnancy. And she was in the middle of building a business. This was, you know, a really a, a terrible, frustrating situation for her because she's going, look, I, I got to build a business here. And now I'm literally stuck. I'm consigned to my bed for the next five months. So needless to say, could not do really any of the normal activities that you might do to grow a business, right? No in-person meetings, no video presentations. Literally, it was basically just her sitting next to a phone for five months while she was pregnant and on bed rest. And so Jody decided, you know what? I'm not going to let this stop me. And she had a choice to make. And so she went in a completely different direction and she went through her phone and she chose 168 people who she ended up having powerful conversations with over that five month period of time. And during those five months, her business grew by 148%. An already successful growing business grew another 148% during those five months because of the power that she was creating in building relationships that created leverage. That was 168 real authentic conversations in about 150 days. That is really not a lot of conversations, right? Could you have one or two real conversations a day if you knew it could be the missing link to not just building a, a successful business, to building a rock solid, lasting, unshakable business? I want you to really think about that. Could you do that? So I want to share with you the third challenge that we hear all the time. When I connect with people, if they aren't immediately interested in what I have, I just don't have a good system to help me stay in touch. Does anybody identify with that? I, I hear this all the time. So I want to give you a little illustration. So, you know, think about when have you been to one of these big gatherings? Maybe it's a networking event. Maybe it's a, a wedding reception. Maybe it's just a big party. And you're meeting a whole bunch of people in a concentrated period of time. So you get there, you're, you know, you're all fired up. You're, you know, you're feeling good. Maybe if you're an extrovert or you're an introvert and you're like, I am terrified. Please don't talk to me. You're standing in the corner, however you're feeling. At first you get there and, and at least your brain is not tired yet. So at first, you know, your brain's sharp, right? You're asking people's names and you're able to totally keep it straight in your head. It was David. He was the guy who worked for Caterpillar. Joanne, she's the one who runs the marketing department for that real estate brokerage. So it's all, you know, it's all there, right? I'm able to keep up with these things. And so then, you know, the night wears on and it all starts running together, right? It all <laughs> starts kind of turning into mud. And you go, oh my gosh. And so, you know, then you sort of get that sinking feeling, you know, the next person walks up to you, the next person you meet and they share their name and you immediately have that feeling that it kind of went in one ear and out the other, right? You're going, oh, you know, now you're starting to feel that anxious feeling, right? And so, you know, then you go home, you're exhausted, you go to bed. And by the next morning, you realize that not only did you not absorb any of the details from the later part of those conversations, now you can't remember if it was David or Dale, was it Deer or Caterpillar, it just, it's all running together. And look, by a week later, forget about it, right? You might as well never have had any of those conversations because you cannot remember a lick, right? That happens so often. So, you know, maybe, maybe these resonate for you, right? Is it, do you, have you heard a million times the fortune is in the follow-up and you just can't seem to get your stuff together in a sustainable way to be able to follow up with the people in your pipeline, even though you know you should be doing it? Do you, do you feel like I know, like I'm, I know I'm losing out on business because of that lack of organization or system when it comes to my contacts? You feel that? You see people who you were talking about with your business who end up joining or buying something similar or the exact same thing from somebody else. And you go, ah, oh, you're so frustrated. And you go, well, I never followed up or followed through. And so they ended up getting it someplace else and you're just kicking yourself. Well, what if I told you, first of all, that it's totally normal to feel all those frustrations, right? That happens all the time. What if I also though told you that from this day forward, that you don't ever have to feel that way again? What if I told you that there was a simple system you can implement starting today that will alleviate all of that stress and frustration 
and allow you to reap the value of the hard work that you're putting into building these relationships in the first place. So you may have heard it said that in business, it's much cheaper and more profitable to retain existing customers than it is to acquire new ones. Or maybe if you're in a more traditional business, you know, it's, it's much cheaper to retain the employees that you have. It's much, much more costly to go out and recruit new ones. So you really should be investing in keeping your employees happy. happy. The same thing's true for your network of contacts. You expend, you use up all of this energy and time. The hardest part of the equation is in developing that relationship in the first place. And so when you build a foundation of authentic connection, then you can maintain that relationship and reap the rewards for years to come with just having a simple process of keeping in touch. It just takes the right system to support yourself in doing it so that it doesn't feel overwhelming. This is the part of the transformational conversation that we're having today that will have by far the biggest rewards of anything that you could do in reinvesting in your network. So I wanna come back to that list of names that you wrote down earlier on in our conversation today. And I want you to, to just start making this plan in your head for having conversations with those people, for going out and you don't have to do them all today. You can just begin a process of re-engaging and reconnecting with those people in your life in conversation, whether it's 10, 15, 25 ish. And you're going to have those conversations with a very simple set of steps. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go and have a, an authentic conversation. You're going to catch up. You're going to do the things that you normally and naturally do. You want to hear about their life. You want to hear about what they've been up to. You want to have this conversation where you're really present and where you're really interested and where you're just pouring into them through the power of asking questions and listening and holding space and hearing about whatever it is that they've been up to, the good, the bad, the challenges, whatever it is, whatever comes out, they're going to be honored by your willingness to have that conversation. And so then at the end of the conversation, this is super important. You are going to take exactly two minutes to brain dump a handful of key things from that conversation. You can do it with your voice. You can do it with your with your fingers, typing it into your cell phone or type it on your computer. And we'll talk more about that later. You're going to take two minutes, though, to brain dump a handful of key things from that conversation. So what are the things that you particularly want to brain dump? What are the things that are going to be important for you to remember from that conversation? The first is, you know, did they share any really important details that you want to make sure you remember and have written down? Right. So. Maybe they've had a kid since the last time you talked and they told you the name of their kid and how old the kid is, you know, whatever it is, you know, names of spouses, a particular thing they were excited about, whatever it is, you know, make sure that if they, if something was really important to them, it's worth you remembering it. So make sure that goes into what you brain dump. Maybe it's also for you to think about what are the things that stood out from that conversation that you would want to be able to bring back up in the future, right? It might be that they mention a pain point in their life that is somehow related to your business, or maybe it's just things that you, you know, it was, you could tell that was really important to their heart and that you want to be able to bring those things up in the future. So what are the things that you go, you know what, it would probably really mean a lot to this person if I was able to ask them about that in the future. And, and so I want to make sure that I remember that. Maybe they told maybe they told you something that you would want to reference specifically to demonstrate your care for them, right? So those are the things that we want to be able to make sure we have captured. I talk about it oftentimes in terms of you want to understand what their you know the key details, the values that they have, what are the things that lit them up that are most important to them that you want to be able to tap into, and what are the pains or challenges in their life that you want to remember so that you can be kind and and you know, mindful of those and, and maybe even be able to support them in helping them to find a solution or even offering them one. So those are the things that you want to bring up. Two minutes, you'll be amazed at how much you can capture in a really short period of time. So once you do that brain dump, what do you do next? You need to set a reminder. So at the end of that conversation, you're simply going to set a reminder to follow up in the future. And 
a lot of times when I'm talking to people about this, they go, well, okay, well, like how often should I follow up or what does that look like? So we're going to talk about a couple of different scenarios where you might bump into these along the way and what I would personally recommend for the frequency for you to follow up. You can tweak these based on what feels most comfortable to you. This is a good set of guidelines. So first thing is you're reconnecting with these people, right? What if you're in this conversation and this person is like holding up, there's nothing written on this. They're like holding up a sign that's like, I am the perfect customer for you. I wanna buy what you have. And it's like, holy smokes, this is incredible. This person is like totally right for the picking. I'm gonna, I wanna sell them. I'm going to tell you this. This is so important. Do not, no matter how ripe, no matter how great, do not pitch that person in this conversation. You have, there's such a risk that you would undo all of the goodness that you have just done in rebuilding that relationship. If you pitch them in that conversation, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Even if you're the greatest salesman in the world, greatest saleswoman in the world, do not pitch them in that conversation. If that's what happens, great. All you do is wait a day or two, then go back to them and bring it up and say, hey, you know, it was so awesome catching up with you. You told me these things and wow, you know, that's amazing or I really feel for you or whatever it is. And I think I may have an idea for you. Just give it a little time. Otherwise, you really risk causing harm in that relationship, which you do not want to do. So that's the red hot scenario, right? Maybe there is something where you're in a conversation with them and that person is actively considering working with you, purchasing something from you, whatever, that they're, they're really excited about what you have and they're sort of in this active consideration phase, right? I would recommend that you set a follow-up for one to two weeks from now, unless there's something where it needs to be sooner. You know, give them, give them a couple of weeks. Make sure though that you're keeping that warm more often. There's, you wanna be on a much more active rotation with somebody who's in that place, right? Maybe they're an important friend or an important contact that you want to really put some more effort into staying connected than you have in the past. I would recommend putting those people on a monthly follow-up. And I would say be, you know, be really judicious about how many people you do that with, right? Because what you don't want to do is put yourself into a place of overwhelm. Be selective about how many people you're going to stay in touch with monthly. Because while that might not seem like a lot, we all know how life is, how busy life can be. And so, be, you know, be a little bit tough on who you put into that sort of monthly rotation circle. Similarly, I would say if they're somebody that's a key business contact, if they're a referral, referral source for you, if there's somebody already in your team, right? This is a thing that we see happen all the time where everybody's out there chasing the next shiny penny and they're not taking care of the people that are the closest to them, right? That's the same thing with retaining employees versus bringing in new ones, right? So you want to have those key people in your life to be a monthly touch point because that's how you maintain the strength of that relationship. Those relationships are going to feed you in so many ways in your business. So maybe they're a friend in connection that is, you know, somebody that you want to keep in touch with on a, in a more general sense, right? It's, they're not in that closer inner circle. And yet you want to make sure that you're, you know, you have that sort of staying in touch. So put that person on a three to six months, right? Like, you know, two, three, four times a year, that's about right for that kind of person. And then, you know, maybe there's somebody that you, you know, you don't want to lose touch with them completely. You know, the, it is totally great to have somebody on a yearly rotation, right? That still keeps that connection alive enough that they have some sense of what's going on in your life. That's a fantastic thing to do. And it's really powerful. So that gives you some guidelines for how to set these things up. So we're going to begin to build this muscle of setting these little reminders. And so here's something that I want to touch on because, you know, I, I don't know how you're feeling as you're listening to this right now. And if this feels overwhelming, if it feels challenging, if it feels worth it, whatever it feels. And so, you know, how valuable is this really? Well, I want to give you some perspective on that because I think that it's really amazing to be able to share that with you. And so I, I want to share something that a friend of ours, Richard Brooke, who's a best-selling author of a book called The Four-Year Career, just an incredibly wise, powerful leader who has had a huge amount of success in his, in his life. And this is something that he has said publicly on more than one occasion. He said, if I had been using contact mapping throughout my career, I am certain I would have created more than 10 times the wealth I have accumulated over 40 years in business. And I will tell you with certainty that Richard is not doing badly. And he believes still that it could be 10 times greater 
had he been using contact mapping from his earliest years in business throughout his whole career. That's how powerful the compounding effect of what we're talking about really is. So I want to ask you a question. Does anything about what I just shared, having one or two meaningful conversations a day, having a structure to stay in touch with people, does anything about what I just shared sound crazy hard to you? I don't think that it does. I really, there's nothing, this is so organic. This is so doable. And that's why I often t talk about that we have this sort of secret that is hiding in plain sight. Here's what I would challenge you on. If you are willing to spend 30, 60 minutes of your time having conversations with prospects, right? How often do we, somebody sends you a Calendly link that's for a 30 or 60 minute, you know, get to know you kind of conversation or whatever it is. If you're willing to spend 30 to 60 minutes of your time having a conversation with a prospect and you're not willing to spend 30 to 60 seconds okay. of your time, I feel uh, capturing those most important details, I feel pretty confident that you are wasting your time by having that 30 or 60 minute conversation. Cause just like we talked about at the networking event or the wedding reception, you're not going to remember it. So will you do what it takes to make that shift? I think it's worth it. So I got another question for you. What is the biggest thing stopping you right now from following up? What's the biggest thing? What is stopping you? from doing it because you know how powerful it really is. We've had a lot of conversations with people. We've even done some surveys about this over the years. And so I'm going to share some statistics and I, I have a feeling you'll identify with some of what I share here. So the number one reason that we most often hear from people about why they don't want to follow up is that they're worried about appearing pushy or desperate. 40% of the people said that's the number one reason they don't follow up. The second most common is this system, right? They don't have, they forget, they don't have a system. They don't feel like they have the skills. And so they don't follow up as a result of that. The next most common is they're just terrified of getting a no. They're terrified of that rejection. Maybe somebody really, you know, blew up on them or made them look bad or shamed them or whatever. And they're just, they're scared of it. 10% of the time, it's, it's about that people are making, you know, they're, they're making objections and excuses up on behalf of their prospect without ever even following up. They're saying no before they even pick up the phone. 6% of the time, people think the, that the person's gonna contact them to come back and buy. How often does that really happen? It, it's, not a whole, it's not a whole lot of the time. And in 4% of the cases, people say, I, you know, I just don't feel like I have earned the right to stay in touch. I don't feel like I have built enough connection. And so, you know, that kind of comes back to that feeling pushy or desperate. They just, they don't feel like that's, that they've earned that right. So those are all things that are out there. I'm sure you have identified with those things at some point in your life. Maybe you still identify with some of those things. And so I want to go through three shifts that we're going to make to take you from where you've been to what is possible for you from this day forward. So the old way of thinking would say, I don't have a strong network today. And so I have to rely on cold outreach or leads to grow my business. Your new way of thinking is I am constantly generating new contacts and connections through the power of my existing network. That is where we're going. The second old way of thinking, I don't have a big enough team or customer base to reach my desired level of income. We're going to shift that to my network and income is building upon itself through the leverage created by the power of enrollment. That's what that compounding effect really is. The third way of thinking was that when I connect with old people, if they aren't immediately interested, I don't have a good system to stay in touch going forward from this day forward, your new way of being is no one ever falls through the cracks because I have a simple system to stay in touch, to set reminders, to follow up, to leave notes and remember where I left off with every person that I ever meet. And so by now you, you might be asking like, how do I make this a habit so that I can be more successful and I can make more money, right? I, I've known that I should be doing these things for a long time, and yet my habits do not allow me to do that, and I stay stuck. 
So you have two options. You can do it the slow way, which keeps you down this path of continuing feelings of frustration and lack of results, or you can do it the fast way using the method that we cover today. So what do I mean by slow? Slow is really about chasing shiny objects, about this sort of massive action mentality with very little targeting, with throwing stuff, literally throwing people at the wall and seeing what sticks. That's really what you see happening out there all the time. And that may be what you, if you're being really honest with yourself, have been doing up until now. So what do I mean by fast? Fast is where you're creating leverage. You're working smarter, not harder. You're having a system for yourself and you're getting past your limiting beliefs and your fears about your existing network. That's what it means to go fast. And so if you're ready to go fast, then I am excited to introduce you to something right now that I truly know could change your life forever. The solution that Tom and I created, that my dad and I created, that is the embodiment of everything that we have ever done collectively and all of the wisdom and experience that we have created, it's called contact mapping. And so who is this for? This is for you, again, if you feel tired of playing that numbers game of sending endless cold messages to people. For you, if you want to genuinely build relationships and take care of people, and you could use some help turning that into results for your business. This is for you if you've been trying to build a business for a long time, and maybe you feel like you've burned that existing network. We're going to change that with you and for you. This is for you if you feel like you simply just don't have enough of the right people in your network to talk to in order to get sales and to grow your business. If those are, if that identifies with your heart, this is going to be perfect for you. And again, there's people that this is not for, right? If you, if you're not really about genuinely impacting other people and that's not like, you know, like that, that seems like a false, you know, like a straw man. I really mean that though, right? Like there's people for whom, like, obviously I don't want to hurt other people and yet other people, positive impact, like that's just not that important to me. There's people where that really fires you up. And so if you're, if you're in that first category, then this is probably not for you. It's also not for you if you don't like connecting with people. If, you're, if, you're, if your goal in life is to like build this automated system that does it all for you, then this is probably not for you. And also for 99% of the people in the world, that's, that's actually a mirage. That's just not possible. So it's not for you if that's you. So I want you to imagine to be able to have a system that allows you to manage your relationships without the hassle, without the headache, without the complexity. That is what we created contact mapping to be. So in today's busy world, we just, we all experience it, right? It's too easy to lose touch. Longtime friends, old business connections, former acquaintances, we lose touch and yet we know that relationships matter. So what contact mapping does is it helps you to make the most of your business and personal relationships by transforming the way you connect, helping you remember the important information and keep in touch. And ultimately where we're taking you is towards where Tom is known the world over as being a super connector. You are turning your contacts into more than a lifeless list of emails and phone numbers. Instead, you're setting those reminders to follow up. You're capturing notes super quickly and easily, and you're remembering what's most important. And then you're bringing all of the things that you're doing together in one place, from places like your contacts in your phone, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, and other sources to be able to have everything all in one place. And as that begins to happen, this is where it gets amazing. Because what you literally begin to be able to do is to Google your own memory. You can now tap into everything that you want to remember about every person that you've ever met. You can find any contact based on any little thing that you want to remember. And so I'm so excited for you to share this with, to share this with you. And look, I, I don't want you to take my word for it. I want you to hear from a few of the people who have worked with us over the years. So there's a little intro to this that I'm going to skip over and uh, so you can hear directly from them. So 
Uh, here you go. Hey, a sense of what you can expect as you get started with contact mapping yourself. Check it out. I gotta say, I've tried a lot of different apps. I've tried a lot of different CRMs and a lot of different ways to follow up with people. The problem with that is they're very complicated and they're great at following up on via email and different things, but what they're not great at is simplifying the process to put people over process every time. And what you've made is you made stuff that allows people to be more important than process every time. It's fantastic because I run my business off my phone. So I have my contacts um, through the contact mapping on my phone. So I'm not carrying a, another, you know, a notebook or a logbook trying to keep up with everybody. And I love that. You know, between, between him and this app, I got this app right at the, the time that we were starting that. And you know my business has my business has doubled every single month since. I love contact mapping, and here's why. I'm not a particularly organized person when it comes to keeping track of follow-ups and reach-outs and reconnects and so forth. And I know that I have lost business because of that. So. Contact mapping is so easy to use. I call it my memory in an app. You know, I am a simple trainer. Like in everything that I train, I I always share the non-techie simple versions, right? Like let's make this as easy as possible. When you jump on this thing, it's just it works the way your brain works. So this is a, a, a CRM company that lives the mission of actually building relationship with their own customers, with their own clients and showing this is how you build community. This is how you build relationship. And because they live the mission, this is the CRM that I now recommend to all of my clients and to all of my referral partners. Hey, this is Adrian, the seat. All right. So it's super cool to hear those things from the people who we have gotten to work with. That's just a tiny sample of the kind of things that we hear from our customers and our referral partners all the time. And so I just wanted to give you a chance to hear from a few of them. So when you get contact mapping, what do you get? You'll get a desktop dashboard and mobile app where you'll have unlimited follow-ups, notes, and contacts that you'll be able to have access to to be able to build this thing out. You're going to get a Chrome extension where you're able to manage contacts easily from your browser, including to pull social media integration from all of these different platforms, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Clubhouse. You're able to literally pull the content of your conversations in the DMs on those platforms and have those someplace that you can reference back to them in an incredibly powerful way. You also get access to a community. I actually believe this is the true secret weapon of what contact mapping is about. We have created a tribe of super connectors who encourage and inspire you as you form habits and leverage the power of your network. And we're doing this together in a way that creates that consistency. And so inside of that community, you get weekly business training. You get a daily call five days a week where we are launching our day together into action and getting coaching. We have a celebration Friday that we call Feedback Friday where we're hearing from the whole community and celebrating the wins and the progress Progress that is getting created all throughout our network. It is amazing and it's something that is included in the Contact Mapping Pro membership. You also get access to your own digital business card. So this is an amazing way to be able to share what you're all about. It allows the person receiving it to be able to download your contact right into their phone and to be able to share their contact info back with you. It's an amazing way to be able to share your details, not just at in-person network meetings, also at virtual meetings, and it's super, super powerful. So just as a recap, you'll get unlimited follow-ups, notes, and contacts. You get access to our browser extension where you're able to pull those contents in directly from your browser. You get the social media integration with all your messages in one place. 
you get access to this incredible community that gives you weekly business training, daily group coaching calls, feedback Fridays, and your own digital business card that you can customize the URL for. So incredible value that we are creating and offering to you. And you are able to go pro for only $29.99. You are able to tap into this and to get access to that for only $29.99. And so that's super cool. I'm really excited about that. Uh, however, we wanted to do even more. And so we have created some super special, amazing bonuses for you that are valued at over $1,000 for being part of what we're doing today. So let me share with you quickly what those are. The first is what's called the All Systems Go 10-Day Business Relaunch Training. So we talked about, you know, maybe you feel stuck. Maybe you feel like you're in this space of, it's time for me to like almost relaunch my business from a place of stuck. We have a 10-day relaunch that will blow you away. And so you'll get access to that immediately. You'll also get access to a live prospecting masterclass. So maybe you're in that place of like, oh, I feel uncomfortable talking to new people. This is what that prospecting masterclass is all about. You'll also get access to the coffee shop interview masterclass. So the coffee shop interview is a, a book that we released on Amazon. It's a number one bestseller, and it's a very short book on how to create meaningful relationships. You'll get access to a digital copy of that book, as well as a masterclass diving deeper on what that's all about immediately. And lastly, many of you are doing a ton of business on LinkedIn. And so one of our good friends, Joe Soto, is like the expert on using LinkedIn to create more leads for your business. And so we're including leveraging LinkedIn to generate more leads with Joe Soto into here as well. So you're gonna get access to all of those amazing things, unlimited follow-ups, notes and contacts, the Chrome extension, the social media integrations, the community with training, with coaching, with positivity within that community, that digital business card, and you're gonna get that thousand dollar bonus of all four of those amazing programs if you take action today and if you tap into the power of Contact Mapping Pro. So as I said, you can go pro today for only $29.99. $29 That's $29.99 a month. And you're going to get access to all of those bonuses right away. So you know, maybe you're like, hey, I'm pretty smart. I'm going to get these. I'm going to sign up for a month and I can cancel immediately. You totally can, right? As soon as you sign up for Pro, you're going to get access to all of those amazing bonuses. And if you cancel tomorrow, those bonuses are yours to keep. We are super confident that once you plug into the contact mapping system, that you are going to fall in love with what you're experiencing and you're going to stay for a long, long time. So that's totally risk-free. You can start at $29.99. You can do it for one month. And if it doesn't work for you, or if you decide you don't want to do it anymore, you keep all of those bonuses worth over a thousand dollars. Now, maybe you're a little different. Maybe you go, whoa, this is exactly what I need. I already, you don't, I don't need to dip my toe in the water for a month. I know this is what I want. And so if that is you, then you can actually save yourself a little bit more money. And so instead of that $29.99 a month, you can save yourself $60. You can get two months for free and you can get a full year for only $299. So it's completely up to you which way you want to go. If you want to save yourself a little of extra money, then get that pro plan for a year for $300 and you have it right away or test it out first. That's totally awesome as well. We are so thankful that you came and spent this time with us today. I, I hope you got a ton of value in thinking about a new way to be able to create more value in your life through the power of your connections. If you follow through and you begin having those conversations that we talked about today and you document those conversations and set those follow-ups, I am 100% confident your life will change. And so how do you get access to what we're talking about? The way that you do that is there's a link that we just shared below for you to go and tap into that right away. There will be a couple of buttons there for you to be able to tap into that and to get access. And so go ahead and check uh, down below right now. You'll have access to that link and you can go and take action 
right away to get access to this. So we're wrapping this up here in just a few moments. Make sure you go ahead and take advantage of that now so you can get immediate access to all of those bonuses. Uh, we're not gonna keep this open for long. And so we wanna make sure that you get access to the, this is one of the most incredible things that we have ever put together. And we want you to tap into the power of it right away. And so all you need to do to be able to tap into that is to click the button below to go and see which plan is the best option for you and to get access to all of those amazing, amazing benefits for you right away. So thank you so much for being with us today. I super enjoy getting to see all the awesome conversations and comments coming back and we'll see you really soon.